Hey everyone, I'm Farhan Tipu and welcome back to the Indulge Gadget Show. Today we'll be looking at the Velocity smartwatch from Chroma. This watch promises a ton of features from stunning display to fitness tracking and beyond. So buckle up because we're about to put it to the test. First things first, let's talk about the looks. The Velocity boasts a gorgeous squarish 1.7 inch AMOLED display fitted into a metal frame. The screen for me is just a little small but it didn't cause me any trouble while using it as in while choosing options or dialing any numbers. The watch was intuitive. The display is bright and crisp and the colors really pop. I especially love these slim bezels that give it a sleek and modern feel. On the right side of the watch you'll find two physical buttons that help you with easy navigation. One is a functional rotating crown that acts as an on-off button and another button for accessing the sports mode. The HR and SPO2 sensors along with the charging port and certain watch details are visible on the back side of the watch. There's a speaker grill and a microphone because of course this is a Bluetooth calling smartwatch. We'll look more at that function later in the review. Additionally, it feels quite light to wear while having a full metal body. Speaking of wearing, the silicon strap is comfortable and feels durable even during workouts. Plus, with the IP68 water resistance, you don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain or taking a dip in the pool. You should also know that the company provides an additional strap with the Velocity smartwatch. Now let's get to the fun part, the features. This watch is packed with a ton of them. You've got over 100 plus sports modes to track your every move from running and cycling to yoga and swimming. And if you're into customizing your look, you'll be happy to know that the Velocity has tons of do-it-yourself watch faces. You can choose from pre-loaded designs or even create your own using your own photos. But the Velocity isn't just about aesthetics. Just like any other smartwatch, it also takes care of your health with built-in heart rate and SpO2 monitoring. They work well in my view, but I personally suggest you to not use these monitors for medical purposes and rather visit a doctor directly. And of course, let's not forget about the Bluetooth calling feature. Answer calls, reject them and even make calls directly from your wrist. Here is a sound test. So this is how my voice sounds when I'm using the Velocity smartwatch to speak through. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Coming to the UI performance of the watch, you can swipe down to see the quick access center which gives you options of DND, brightness control, flashlight, settings, etc. You can swipe up to get notifications of your cell where you can check your recent messages and call notifications. You can swipe right to get quick access to your activities, sleep monitor, HR, SPO2, weather, music player and camera shutter. And you swipe left to check out the entire menu of the watch. Overall, the UI of the watch is smooth and I have no complaints here. I was expecting to see some lag while swiping through the screen, but I'm very happy that I did not find any. Now, all these amazing features need juice, right? The Velocity delivers a battery life that lasts up to 5 days on a single charge. Pretty decent and okay for the price point. Overall, I am satisfied with the Chroma smartwatch. It's stylish, packed with features and surprisingly affordable. So that's it for my review guys. I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any other questions that weren't answered in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Until then, see you in the next video.